Welcome to Firebase release notes for April, where we cover big and small releases from Firebase. This month, we have a bunch of big announcements, so let's jump right in. Let's start with Firebase Studio. Firebase Studio is a cloud-based agentic development environment designed to accelerate how you build, test, deploy, and run production quality AI applications all in one place. It fuses together tools like Project IDX, GenKit, and Gemini and Firebase into a unified agentic experience for full-stack development. Using the integrated app prototyping agent, you can rapidly prototype fully functional apps using natural language. At the moment, the resulting full-stack apps are based on Next.js and GenKit, allowing you to easily tap into the power of Gemini and other AI tools. You can easily iterate on the generated apps using the chat interface, or you can switch to the code view, which is powered by Project IDX to inspect the code and change it manually, or using Gemini and Firebase. During development, you can easily preview your app on any device using a public URL. Firebase Studio can even generate a handy QR code so you can preview your app on a mobile device. And once you're ready to go to production, just hit the Publish button. Firebase Studio leverages Firebase app hosting for a simple one-click deployment experience. To learn more, read our blog posts, or better yet, head on over to firebase.studio to get started yourself. Speaking of which, Firebase app hosting is now generally available and can be used for production apps. App Hosting is a serverless web hosting service for modern, full-stack web frameworks, providing you with streamlined deployments for Angular and Next.js apps in a fully managed environment. You import your GitHub repository, and App Hosting handles the rest. You can monitor your app's requests, logs, and usage in the Firebase console. And if you notice an issue in production, you can quickly roll back to a previous version of your app using App Hosting's new rollback features, all without rebuilding your app. The Firebase Emulator Suite now also supports App Hosting, allowing you to test and iterate on your code locally before deploying it to staging or production. Out of the box, Firebase App Hosting supports Angular and Next.js. If you use any other frameworks, you will be pleased to hear that we now support a new community framework adapter model with preview support for the popular Nitro and Astro frameworks. To learn more about Firebase app hosting, read our blog post. Firebase Data Connect is also generally available and ready for use in production. Data Connect is a backend as a service powered by a Cloud SQL Postgres database. You provide your app's data model as GraphQL-based schema and define how to access and update data. Data Connect will then do the rest for you and create secure endpoints and type-safe SDKs for you to use in your client code. This release of Firebase Data Connect brings a couple of exciting and useful new features. For example, you can now use Gemini and Firebase to automatically generate schemas using natural language right in the Firebase console. We also added support for aggregate fields and atomic data modifications. It's now also possible to connect to an existing Cloud SQL database, and we added support for Angular and React. To get started, check out our collabs for iOS, Android, and the web. For more details about Firebase Data Connect, check out our blog post. Next up is GenKit. The Model Context Protocol, or MCP for short, is all the rage at the moment. You can use GenKit to build MCP servers and clients thanks to the experimental GenKit MCP plugin. Starting with GenKit.js 1.4.0, this plugin now also supports WebSockets. To learn more about writing MCP servers in GenKit, watch this video or read this article. Links are in the description below. Next up, we added support for the Gemini Live API to Vertex AI in Firebase. 
These APIs enable streaming audio or text input to the model and receiving streaming audio and text responses, letting you build real-time voice interactions. This enables exciting new use cases for more conversational interactions in your apps. We also added support for React Native, so you can securely and directly integrate Gemini APIs into your React Native apps. To help you speed up ideation and prototyping, you can now get code snippets for the Firebase SDKs right from Vertex AI Studio. To learn more about this, check out our blog post. And finally, we've just chipped a new way to learn how to use all the exciting product updates I've just mentioned in a fun and interactive way. Interactive solutions. For example, here is one that shows how to build agentic apps with Firebase and Google Cloud. It uses a barista app to teach you concepts like tool calling and human in the loop. When running the demos, you will see an interactive log of the messages the demo triggers, as well as the components involved. Very cool indeed. Those were all the updates we had for today. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel below. And if you've built something cool with Firebase Studio, why don't you share a link in the comments below? My name is Peter, and I will see you in a future episode of Firebase Release Notes.